Hello and welcome to this tutorial about importing multiple geometries and supports onto a build plate. So we'll start in Netfab Simulation. On the Simulation menu and select New, we're going to find our parts. As usual, we click Powder Bed Fusion as our build type and Create Simulation. We find the part to import. Now for the second and subsequent imports, the import command is available on the Home tab. And when we import the second part, the build plate expands to accommodate both. If you follow the tutorial on recoder interference, you'll recognize this overhanging part and remember that it developed excessive distortion when built without support structures. So we're going to import support structures for both parts in the import dialog for support one we select support structures and we know that it's a lattice support so we're going to set the volume fraction to 0 0.3 and now support two is a solid structure, so we'll leave its volume fraction at 1. There you see supports in place for both parts. And now we're going to expand the size of the build plate a bit. Let's make it 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters. And now we'll click Mesh Preview to generate the mesh. Of course, we have to save the project in a suitable place. And now we can zoom in and examine this mesh to see how the voxels are smaller in critical areas, such as the interface between the parts and supports, but larger at a distance from the parts. So now click Solve and we'll get a full thermal and mechanical simulation. Now, because we're using support structures, we should see that part displacement is minimized. So we can check that in the log files. This tab, uh, recoder blade interference, we can see that the recoder clearance values are very high. So there's no danger of recoder blade interference. After loading the results, we select Structure Type. And note that this will color the build plate blue for 0. The parts are colored green for 2, and the support structures are red for 4. We can play the results to see the complete parts and their supports. And now let's change to view the displacement results. And then we'll open the plot settings and check that the range setting is local, which will make the maximum distortion more visible. And now we can see that, yes, there are some areas to be concerned about. So in this tutorial, we have shown how to import multiple geometries and supports onto the same build plate.